Mr. Uh, Milito, <clears throat> I, I listened to some of the comments from, from Mr. Motzner about the concern about new drilling. A and again, um, as I mentioned, we've been out in the, in the Beaufort and Chukchi uh, back in the 80s, some 35 wells already in place, no headlines. Um, uh, the concern was raised that, that uh, uh, 70, there's a 75 percent chance of a large oil spill, and in looking at Bohm's fact sheet, uh, they make very, very clear that what we're talking about here is that if we have a hypothetical scenario over the course of more than three quarters of a century of oil and gas activities, a 75 percent chance of one or more spills of, of more than 1,000 barrels of oil, uh, again, put it into context, 75 years, how much are we talking about? BOEM's actual statement here is no. Is it, is it accurate to say that if Shell's Chukchi Sea Exploration Plan is approved, there is a 75 percent chance of a large oil spill? No. So I, I do think it's important to get the, the, the facts out here on the record. But let me, let me ask you, because this came from the National Petroleum Council's um, uh, study that was just released at the request of the Department of Energy. And the study looks at different exploration and development timelines, um, particularly in these, in these defined and, and closely uh, monitored windows. Chukchi and Beaufort are different than anywhere else probably on, on the planet. Do you agree with the study, um, the National Petroleum Council study, that lease terms in the Beaufort and in the Chukchi need to be different to accommodate an operating environment that's different? And in my view, the additional regulatory demands proposed by, by Bessie in the proposed Arctic rule. Uh, abs absolutely. When you have additional time in your, in your lease terms, it gives the industry a greater amount of flexibility and the ability to put more planning into the operations, and it allows us to look at energy development from a long-term standpoint. We know that we're going to need oil and natural gas for decades to come, and we know that when you're new moving into new areas like this, it takes a long time to get from exploratory activity to production, and bills like yours are a sensible approach to making sure that we're not ignoring these uh, opportunities, but rather seizing these opportunities in a more constructive way. I think people forget that we don't have, it's not like drilling in the Gulf. You've got, you've got a window. Basically, you get the go-ahead to get in the water in July, and you have to be out by, by September. And uh, if ice comes in, you're out. If whales come early, you're out. It is, it's an entirely different environment. And I, I, think it is, um, I think it is quite telling that actually President Obama agrees with, with much of what you have said about a transition process uh, that, well, well, eventually we're going to need to transition off, off fossil fuels. It's going to take some time. And until then, we're going to be using fossil fuels. So as he says, um, wouldn't it be better that we produce our oil and gas rather than importing it from, from others?